We have access to this that gives you everything that Whoop does. Anything and everything your body needs to perform at its best. Let's do it. It's a big advantage for any athlete, but it is for just any person that's looking out for the best interest in themselves to better their performance. Now that's a stat today. I was exhausted from a long day at the tournament yesterday. I'm pretty shocked that it's 64% recovery. At the end of the day, there's a thousand things that we can't control. But how do we be our best selves? Yeah. Recovery, sleeping, yeah. this, that, and the other. And if you do that right, then over time, everything's going to take care of itself. I want to be the best version of myself every single day. To be able to do that, I have to be taking care of myself. Because if my glass is half full, I'm not able to be the best person that I can be. Seventy-eight yards here. Here with wedges, I don't want a number. Like I, I'm learning how to hit a sixty degree right now. So um, where's where's the tipping point, or where's the point where you're like, all right, I want a number now? Uh, like one twenty ish. Really? Yeah, hundred, one twenty. Jeez, yeah. that's because I feel like eyes, like engage, like depending on what I'm trying to hit, whether it's a knockdown gap wedge or something like that. Like, well, it's like uh, when you're on the range, you know, you you don't shoot every pin you're at, no. you just kind of see a pin yep. and you're like, eh, looks like a wedge, looks right. like this. Right, yeah. you just go and hit a couple shots, feel it out, and yeah. Go. I mean, my dad, for some reason, taught me just growing up with wedges to like try to have the same kind of acceleration through all of them. So like, I try to take it back as short as I can to have the same acceleration to get it to go that distance. Right. So it'll be like, you know, 80 yards with a lob wedge might be like from there to there, whereas like with a gap wedge, it's going to be more like there to there. Yep. But all of that should be similar. Right, and right. That now, is it? Who knows? But no, I, yeah. As you said, if it ain't broke. How many times are you in the gym a week? Uh, on an off week, I'd say probably five. OK. Lifting, it's probably two to three. I mean, we're always going to do some kind of weight, but more like loading beginning of the week and then taper off as the week goes on kind of thing. Month-long cycles, six-week cycles. It's, it's just more kind of responding to how I'm feeling yep. kind of thing, you know? Break! Oh, it's like you've had that putter for a little while. I just learned that it's bent. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, oh. it's a little bent. Oh, my God. Yeah, I just literally just saw it the other day, so. Are you going to get a reach shaft? I need to. I, I literally <laughs> just saw it in Cabo. I was like, oh. That looks like, a, like huh. one of those. Or maybe I didn't do that. I definitely didn't do that. Not with this club. <laughs> oh, man.